Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Rywood alongside Sean Burdetting. You start off conference play, coach. You go on the road. Unfortunately, a couple of losses, but they were tight. You played one of the contenders in Tulane, a 3-2 loss. A, a match where you, you got behind early, but you had to like the fight of your team to force the five sets. Well, I, I tell you, we've talked before. There's no no easy matches once you get the conference. Uh, really proud of our, our fight. We got down there, and I think you know they kind of hit us pretty hard right off the bat and took a while to settle in. but. Really good to regroup and, and get back into that second set and then really fight back to get us into a fifth set. I mean, we walk away from the weekend and four points is the difference mm -hmm. in, in two matches. So, you know, we know it's tough to go and steal ones on the road. You got to protect your house when you're there. They obviously did that, but um, really came away having done some great things on the road and certainly level of competition much higher once we get to conference. Tulane is a team that got to the uh, the championship match of the mm -hmm. NIV NIVC uh, postseason tournament last year. So a very, very good team. Go on the road at Houston for the back end and that was just back and forth uh, no one able to separate more than f for one set at a time. Yeah I mean it, you know we go out and win one they win one it's just back and forth as you said the, the entire match there and you know got got a couple points down at the end of the the fifth and fought back and had some chances and you know the the great thing that we walk away with is things are correctable it's things that we're able to, to control and do in our gym and we'll work on those things this week but uh, I think the the things that we saw and especially from some of our younger players was a, a great fight and determination from them. And then fights what you want to see because as you mentioned the competition steps up and for a team that had a ton of success in that non-conference mm -hmm. uh, portion of the season some teams boy that can really be a uh, you know, put them back on the hills, but they come back and they fight. They probably realize competition is going to get a little bit better. You're not, it's not going to be a 30 and 0 type run, but you guys can accomplish a lot of stuff. You got a lot of conference to play. Yeah, I mean, this is just the beginning, yeah. which is great. And we get to come back home in front of our crowd, you know, and that's been so supportive for us. And, and we're looking forward to that again. And, and really, you go out and every weekend it's about learning. And you got to add, as we talk about, to the tool bag or your bag of tricks, and you got to keep building on that. So I think we've learned some things, came back in this morning into the gym and got some really good work in. Sabrina makes the honor roll. Boy, she had a, a great weekend. Uh, it's so it's uh, 60, 60 assists against Houston, a career high. 21 digs against Tulane, also a career high. Yeah, I think the defensive effort is really what stands out. I mean, I think that's just a, a great thing for a setter to go out there and defend. It's easy, you know, always wanting to go set the ball, but to, to be able to defend like that and then give our hitters some other opportunities, obviously, to, to go out and attack. Uh, it's a great, well-rounded uh, weekend for her. You mentioned you come back home Wichita State on Friday. Yeah, you know, we, we got to get after it. You know, they're, they're a team that is deep and, and they're good, they're strong, they're a physical team. Both teams this weekend, Tulsa as well, uh, very very similar. Those two went to five last weekend. So really in our half of the conference in our division, people are just battling it out night after night. I know you're, you're concentrating really on the first match on Friday with Wichita State. Big one on Sunday, breast cancer awareness game at the Elmer Rowan Fieldhouse, but also Tulsa. And, and again, I know most of your film work's been done on Wichita, but you've seen Tulsa last year. What do you see out of Tulsa? You know, just a, another physical team. They've got a lot of length, uh, both Wichita and them both uh, have the same kind of similar attributes uh, with their with their hitters uh, you know in terms of offensive systems there's some similarities there we'll have to fine tune for both matches and, and really dive in as we get through the rest of the practices this week all right sounds good thanks coach thank you that is Sean Burnett I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network